New Hampshire has a total of 90 golf courses to look at, and we took a look at all of them. To bring you the top 10 public golf courses, one that you could play across the state. So let's take a look at our channel before we go into each one of these. We're hitting all the top golf courses in each state and also the top golf courses in every country. And you're not going to want to miss any of that. Now let's zoom in now to number 10 on this top 10 list. Just on the southern part of the west coast and of course that we actually got some footage of. Now the bad part about this one is they are closing. Pine Grove Springs Golf Course. This is of course we just played in 2022. They just I think they're closing it pretty soon, but a remarkable nine-hole golf course that we're going to give it here. Um, it's a pretty good golf course to start off. And, of course, it's closing. It's not the best, but yeah, it's it's a historical one. We're going to put it at number 10. This list is constantly changing. That's the whole point of the top 10 list. The takeaway of this golf course, it was built in 1990. It's a very old course, and it's sad to see it bought and closed as a result. Let's zoom in now to number nine on this list, the Oaks. This par 71 stretches 6,225 yards. It has a slope of 137 and a rating of 73.6. Of course, it has a little bit of history. It was built in 2004 by William Barley Booth. It has a driving range and other amenities to get you started. And we got two holes here that we were able to pull of this golf course. And it's important to know that this list is constantly changing. It's the top 10 list, but just this year we got our top 10. And some of these courses are closing, so it's important to update it. Let's take a look now at the number 8 golf course that you could play in New Hampshire. And with a total of two golf courses at this location, there's a lot to pick from. We're going to give it to the north course, not the south course. It's not too far from the other course that we just played, and it was one of the courses on the list of top golf courses we wanted to play. We're going to play it pretty soon. It's 6,974 yards. It has a slope of 132 and a rating of 73.9. course was built in 1968 and has bent grass greens. It's open from April to the end of November and was designed by Will Robinson. Bill Robinson. Now we have seven more courses to look at. There's some of the best golf still to be picked. Let's zoom in now to number seven on this list, almost in the middle of the state, Al's Ness Golf Club. The more popular golf courses on this list, of course everyone knows, this par 72 stretches 6,819 yards with a slope of one 33 and a rating of 73 course was built in 1998 its greens are bent grass its golf season is from may to october it was designed by jack nicholas well it had some major updates by jack nicholas in 2019 but opened in 1998 by mark mugwerk now there's a driving range this one is an absolute gem. Probably will move a little bit higher in our list for the years to come. Because they're constantly updating that list. It looks, they're constantly updating that course. Let's take a look at number six on this list. Now, we didn't get the best footage of this course. It's, it's not even open from my understanding, but it, it, it might be. So let us know in the comment section if we got any of that right. We're only able to pull a little bit of footage here. It opened for play in... 1912 by Donald Ross, famous golf designer. Looks to be only a nine-hole golf course here. Could be wrong. and It's, uh, I mean, so far north that it's impressive, and it's got to be very picturesque from what it says. From both t uh, back nines, it's 6,804 yards for a par 72 and a rating of 72.8. Slope of 130. Let's zoom in now to number five, breaking us in half with our list. This course stretches... 6,534 yards with a slope of 140 and a rating of 72.8. It was built in 1996 by Phil Wagen and has bent grass greens. Golf season's from April to the end of October. It's a well-groomed 
golf course and it's pretty reasonable it has about six tee boxes to choose from and a driving range and a lot of other amenities these courses are going to get better there's four more golf courses to look at on this list let's zoom now for number four this par 71 stretches 6,493 yards it's a par set mile 71 and it has a slope of 130 and a rating of 71.5 the course was built in 2000 its fairways are bent grass along with its greens and as brian savanna who built the golf course in 2000 now believe it or not we got three more golf courses to take a look at on this list some of the best golf is still to be looked at now we don't have the best footage of number three, but it has some beautiful picturesque and we hope to visit to get some great footage of this gem golf course. You can see right off the bat that this is pretty unique on the lake there. Our first course that stretches 7,000 yards at 7,153 yards. It has a slope of 126 and a rating of 74.3. It was built in 1957 and it's a Robert Trent Jones Senior course. Had some major updates by Ross Forbitz in 2000, and it's golf seasons from April to the end of November. Now, let's take quickly at a number two on this list, Country Club of New Hampshire. Now, this one is rap dab in the middle of the country, and it's a gem, and it's well known. A rating of 71.6, this par 72, stretches 6,727 yards. It has a slope of 125 and was built in 1930. So it's got a lot of history here. It's a bent grass greens and blue grass fairways. The golf season here goes from April to the end of November. Well, there's only one more golf course left, and you probably already know what it is if you're well-versed in golf throughout the state. Let's zoom in now to our number one golf course. Now, there's two courses here, and of course, we don't want to put two courses on our top ten list, so we give it to both those courses. We will give it to the Mount Washington course, which was built in 1915 by Donald Ross. Its golf season is only from March to October and it has the most picturesque views ever 7,004 yards from the back tees with a rating of 73.7 and a slope of 124 it's a par 72 now that's going to do it for our list we are constantly updating this list and putting more videos out there more than ever so you want to subscribe and keep a lookout for more videos to come this is World Go Fly. Twilight Golf Launch control, this is Houston. We are go for launch.